And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Saturday, December 25th, 2021. It's approximately 10 p.m. And we're here on the campus of McGill University, which is located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And over there in the distance, you can kind of make it out, but that's Mount Royal straight ahead where it's kind of dark. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a walking video tonight of McGill College Avenue which is directly in front of me here. We're gonna be going in this direction to my south. And just to give you a little bit of information, uh, my favorite building on this campus, you can kind of make it out on as we start our walking videos. This one over here. This is the Red Path Museum. Very basic, but informative museum. Very beautiful, I think it's free. It's one of my favorite museums. Uh, yeah, they usually accept donations and uh, yeah, they have all kinds of dinosaur exhibits, uh, a lot of information on fossils and, um, you know, minerals and if you're into geology, there's a lot of things on geology. They have a beautiful geology exhibit there. Um, yeah, so anyway, check that out if you're ever in Montreal. I, I highly recommend it. As someone that loves museums and, and learning about new things, uh, the Red Path Museum is definitely up there on my list. Yeah, so anyways, we'll walk here. Like I said, we're going to head south. And the reason why I decided to start my walk here is to show you that interesting perspective of the museum and also these old buildings here that are part of this old university here in Montreal. And uh, yeah, so like I said, we're walking right now in the south direction and we're going to be coming up to Sherbrooke Street as soon as we get out of here. And of course it is Christmas night and I figured, you know what, get outside, get some nice videos to celebrate this time of year. And I just filmed the Ogilvy window now called Enchanted Worlds, which I am actually posting as this video is being filmed right now. So again, we're heading in the south direction towards Sherbrooke Street. And what I'm probably going to do is go right through Placeville Marie, the main, I guess you could call it the uh, the bottom of Placeville Marie, the base. And well, hopefully there's a Christmas tree there. I know there's some beautiful lights that they have. The only concern I have right now is my camera, my phone here. We're uh, running out of battery. Now it's right now at about 80%, but because it's so cold, these batteries tend to dissipate and lose charge a lot faster in the cold. So uh, anyways, we'll see if it holds up. Hopefully it will. And uh, yeah, we're coming up here to Sherbrooke Street. There's the McCord Museum down there. And the Ogilvy window, also known as Enchanted Worlds, is right there. And see people there huddled around. All right, so we're now leaving this campus here, and I'll give you a view here of the gates because it is a beautiful piece of architecture. Yep, very nice. And Mount Royal, you can see a bit more clearly now. And if you look straight ahead, you can kind of make out the cross of the mountain, which is where I wanted to originally go tonight to film the cross on Mount Royal. But I decided, you know what, I'll stick down on the ground because it is kind of cold. So, uh, you know, this is, this is a nice video anyway. So we'll cross the street here. There's Sherbrooke Street facing to the west. Sherbrooke Street facing to the east. One more view facing north. While we wait to cross here. All right, just waiting for that light to change, which it just did. Now you can see a lot of Christmas lights up from the city. And by the way, this is part of McGill as well. This building right here, I believe, is a dental school. Part of the dental school for the, the university. So here's, uh, like I said, Avenue McGill College. You can see the sign up there. And you're gonna see a couple of things in this video. You're gonna see the REM 
the light rail network, one of the stations under construction, which is the McGill station. A beautiful, calm Christmas evening. Beautiful, beautiful night for a, a walking video. So yeah, we're gonna, like I said, continue south. My objective is, like I said, to get to the bottom of Plazville Marie where they have beautiful lights usually set up and they have some new ones this year as well uh, and if all goes as planned this walking video will end on René Levesque Boulevard I'll tell you one of the things I hate about living in the city is traffic lights I cannot stand traffic lights and I cannot stand a lot of vehicles even though I like to film emergency vehicles and buses and all that which are, I'm okay with buses but in general you know I'm, a, I'm not a big car fan, car person and uh, yeah you know I'd, I'd rather live a simpler life sometimes to be honest away from the city but uh, you know look it is what it is they have improved a lot of streets for pedestrians the last few years. The administration we have and uh, the city administration definitely puts pedestrians as a priority. So I'm glad about that. A lot more cycling lanes and cycling paths. Nice display of lights here. This building up here always lights up depending on what time of year it is. It's a Christmas theme right now, so you have those red and green colors. On uh, St. Jean Baptiste Day, which is a Quebec holiday, the big holiday here in Quebec, it's always blue. And Canada Day, it's red. So here we are, this is the corner now of I believe Ontario and Miguel College so we're going to cross over here and uh, yeah actually I made a little mistake this is the Maisonneuve uh, I got a little mixed up because I'm a bit disorientated with this construction sometimes but yeah this is the Maisonneuve Boulevard and of course how can I forget that's where one of the main biking paths are but because of the construction it's hard to see and here's the REM Miguel Station construction project. Now, I'm not going to go into the area where you could look down because, like I said, it's cold out and I don't want to risk losing my battery. But uh, here's a nice, at least a little outside view of it. There's a nice view of some more lights here in the shopping center, which is closed. I believe it's closed. And one of the cool things they've done here, by the way, that's the Eaton Center down there. One of the things they've done is they've decorated the fence of this REM project. Put some nice lights, some pine trees, pine bushes here's the Indigo bookstore one of my favorite places to go sometimes seeing that I do enjoy reading a lot and uh, by the way I'm looking for the Farmer's Almanac 2022 edition which should be out by now there's a beautiful work of art these beautiful deers. Yeah, so anyway, for the Farmer's Almanac, basically it's a book about weather predictions for the years ahead, for the year ahead, climate, astronomy, 
Uh, if you're into astronomy, it tells you where the planets are going to be in the, in the sky at certain times when certain planets are at their best, at their brightest. And here we are, this is St. Catherine Street right here. Which I did a walking video of the other night without commentary. Not one of my favorite streets because it's a little too crowded. But uh, they do decorate it quite nicely. So, yeah, so we're coming up here to Place Ville Marie, which is this big building right here. And they don't have the rotating beacon light on tonight for some reason. But they have those LED lights, which they've added in the last decade or so. I'll pan behind me here, another look to the north where we came from. And my hands are definitely getting numb. Oh, a piece of ice just fell behind me. Little piece, nothing major. Yeah, so we're coming up here to this beautiful Christmas display. Here's part of Plaza Romery as well. There's a little shopping mall down there. And this is where McGill College ends. And this street here is Cathcart. C-A-T-H-C-A-R-T. Cathcart. And uh, there's another look at that beautiful building. And now it's going to get really interesting because we're going up here to the base of Plaza Ville Marie. Where they always, they usually have a big Christmas tree set up here. I don't know why they don't have it this year. I mean, the construction's finished that they were doing here. They were working on uh, remodeling this whole area. Well, look at this interesting lighthouse here. Look at that cool beacon. That's very interesting. I'll try to zoom in here. Ironically, this building is supposed to have a beacon on it as well, but it's not working tonight, which is kind of too bad because it'd be perfect in the video. Here's this Sun Life building part of it, this building right here, very old. One of the first buildings in the city. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that building that you can kind of make out here was the first, one of the tallest skyscrapers, if you want to call it that, in Canada when it was first built. See what we have in here. Uh, just some lights that kind of look like candles. There's a nice view of Place Ville Marie. I'll stop for a second. Slowly pan up. And one more look around us here to the north. And uh, yeah, by the way, like I said, that is to the north. And there's Mount Royal right there. You can kind of make it out. And uh, yeah, very beautiful piece of scenery. And I'm glad I did this walking video because, uh, well, it's probably my last one for the Christmas season in terms of a Christmas theme. And what better time to do it than right here on Christmas Day. And we'll conclude here on René Levesque, where the Fairmont Queen Elizabeth Hotel is situated. Another well-known Montreal landmark. And by the way, these are all part of Place Ville Marie, these buildings here, all part of the Place Ville Marie campus. But this is the main one, this is one Place Ville Marie. And uh, yeah, we'll conclude the walk here in about 30 seconds. And right in there is the restaurants and all that, which, because of the pandemic, uh, I'm not seeing a lot of business right now. All right, so here we are, René Levesque Boulevard. And there's Mary Queen of the World Cathedral right there. Another skyscraper to add to the video. All right, have a good night, everybody, and uh, happy holidays. More videos to come.